Building a PSD network is similar to creating standard texture maps with one exception. With a PSD network, we take advantage of Photoshop's layers and build each of our layered maps within a predefined layer group. Since Maya will be dipping into the various project folders, we need to first start a Maya project. Open a new Maya document and start a new project. Make sure to set your project and save your scene. Add a polygon cube to the workspace by choosing Create Polygon Primitives Cube. Select the cube, then right click the cube and choose Assign New Material, Blend. With the cube selected, choose Texturing, Create PSD Network from the rendering menu set. In the dialog box, Image Settings section, Image Name box, you can see the default name given to your PSD file. It will be saved in your Project Source Images folder. Click the Open in Photoshop checkbox if you want the image to automatically open in Photoshop. Size X and Size Y specify the Photoshop document size. In the UV Settings section, enable the Include UV Snapshot checkbox. This will create a separate layer with a UV Map Snapshot that can be used as a template. In the Attributes section, Attributes box, click Color, then Command click or Control click on a PC, Transparency, then Bump. All three should be selected. Click the right facing arrow to move the attributes to the selected attributes box. Click the Create button to launch Photoshop and open your PSD file. If the file doesn't open as expected, go to the Project Source Images folder and find the image. Check to make sure that the file path is correct in the Maya Preferences Applications category. The application path for editing in Photoshop should point to the Photoshop application. In Photoshop, the top layer is the UV Map template. Inside each of the folders is a map for Color, Transparency, and Bump. This is the exact same layer structure you need when you're finished editing your PSD file. Edit the Color, Transparency, and Bump layers using your UV Map layer as your guide. You will need to turn off the upper layer's visibility to work on the lower layers. Once you are finished, save your document. Return to Maya, add lights to your scene, and click the Render Current Frame icon. 